Hi guys, my name is Zin, and uh, this is Maybe Bonsai. Um, today I'm starting to starting the episode with uh, collecting some moss, and I plan to build a Dreisena forest. Um, I have a house plant of the Dreisena, which I'm gonna make cuttings of, and I have a couple of cuttings I have rooted from before. Um, I bought a pot from uh, Chris Henry's place, which is a bonsai nursery uh, with Nigel, and uh, I plan to do everything in that pot. Uh, hopefully it works out, so we'll get started first with the moss. So I'm just going to get rid of the dirt or as much as I can. Kind of worked. So getting moss after a rain would be the best time because it'd be loose, it'd be green and it's easy to spot. Right now it's fairly dry, hard to get out, but you can do it. That's okay. So I just put them in a uh, plastic bag. Um, you know, I seal it, but Usually there's enough moisture to keep them there. I mean, it doesn't really matter to be honest. So yeah. Get rid of the grass or just weeds. Get rid of the excess dirt. That should do it. So I got my moss, um, whatever variety I can find. And uh, so the next thing I need is some rocks. And in this forest I'm making, I, I don't want to make it a traditional forest because one is with Dracenus. And uh, so, you know, two is my first forest. I just want to make something fun uh, for myself. Um, so it's going to be with uh, like a magical fantasy forest in a way uh, so I'm going to be putting crystals as part of the ground with moss so that only a few crystals shows up so that doesn't overwhelm the trees um, so I need some crystals or minerals in this case and I've got them right here so these are these are um, amethyst they're worth no money <laughs> absolutely nothing um, I just got these at a uh, uh, one of the mineral shows, you know, a few years ago, and I'm gonna use this hammer, which is a rock hammer, and I'm gonna break them up to smaller pieces so, so I could use it. This is way too big, obviously. Um, this side is a little bit big as well. My pot isn't that big, and this this side is okay, but I might break this in half and see, you know, see what I get from it. So I'm gonna move these for now. And um, you saw that I'm wearing safety goggles. Uh, if you're going to do this with a rock hammer or with any other hammer, but you know, rock hammer is best, um, you need to wear safety goggles because uh, the, the chips can very easily be into your eye. So here we go. Well, that didn't do much, did it? There we go. I think this size is okay. I could use it. It's got some, uh, you know, fairly flat base too. Not that I need it, but this is okay. So the hammer is uh, really good at breaking rocks. There you go.
Now, normally I will hold this in my hand and I will try to chip it, um, but because of the camera, I can't really do that. Maybe I'll leave that for now. Um, this can be broken up more. This is probably semi-usable. You know, just some shards. They're exploded. So stuff like this is actually perfect. Small with the crystals facing up and I can position them wherever I need to. Um, I think this is fine. I also got a piece inside and I don't think I need any more. Cause, because I don't want put too many crystals because then uh, they'll take away from the trees themselves. So I think we're good with the, uh, with the minerals. I'll collect these later on and uh, you know, then we'll see what we get to use later. Okay, so the last part I need is the part of the forest. I have two small cuttings already rooted and I want to do five trees, which means I need three more. And one of them, at least one or two of them needs to be uh, larger than the others. So that's, this is too large. The canopy is way too big. It's like triple the size of the small one. So I'm gonna look for something uh, a lot smaller, maybe one of these. Maybe this one back here. Um, I think I'm going to probably take this one, even though some of the leaves are very long, but uh, I can use that one as the biggest one. Or no, maybe it's too big. Let's take some of the smaller ones. So I'll take this one and I'm gonna cut it fairly low so that uh, if I decide to make this shorter, I can always cut it again. Um, so I'll have a longer piece to work with. That way, you know, uh, just in case if I change my mind somewhere. So I'll cut it down there. It's just gonna fall to the ground. Uh, yeah, those leaves are quite big, but maybe I can uh, get rid of some of them and you know, we'll see. So that's one. So the other small ones, I'll take this really small one. Okay. And uh, um, I'm thinking about this one. The size is okay. Uh, or I can take that one, it's okay. Maybe I'll take this one, it's kind of a thicker trunk. Again, I'll cut it lower. So this would be a really tiny one. This one would be a really tiny one. And then we have different sizes. So I think that should be okay. And I'm pretty confident that these were root because you have the two rooted Fairly easily, so all right. So I'm ready to go. Um, I've got my pot here. It's a nice Japanese pot that Nigel picked out for me. Uh, I really like it. And then I have my cuttings, my rooted cuttings, my mineral rocks, and I have a bucket of water just in case if I need to dip something in there. And we have a lot of soil. I think that should be enough for this. Uh, if not, I have more inside. So, yeah, so let's get started and uh, hopefully it goes well. All right, so we're gonna get started here and uh, I hope everyone keeps an open mind. 
because the Dracaena is not really used in bonsai uh, at all, kind of. Um, I think Nigel has a has a Dracaena bonsai, but I haven't seen any forest yet, and I've got minerals, uh, rocks with crystals on them, which is, I, I try to Google some images, but I haven't found any. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. Uh, I really want to make this plenty with the with the crystals. So yeah, just uh, you know, keep an open mind, and uh, it's something I want to do. So I'll first do uh, do a base layer of the soil, and I'll try to build it up, kind of mount it up, and uh, we'll we'll go from there. I'm using my soil 2.0 because this one drains really well and the Dracaena, uh, as far as I could tell, they don't like water that much and they can go dry for a long time without really having any issues. Okay, so I need to build this up a bit more and then I need to get the placement of the trees correct. So I think that's good to start. Uh, I've got some moss as well, so I want to kind of have the moss just come up to the uh, lip of the pot. Right now my soil is just under the lip, maybe uh, less than a centimeter I would say. And I want to this planting to have a, a hill kind of thing somewhere in there, you know, and there's like higher ground and lower ground. Um, I just haven't decided what's what yet but that's kind of the idea that I want to go with. Hopefully I'm starting out this right. Uh, this is my first kind of official forest I'm trying to build. Um, yeah, <laughs> not very experienced with this. So, I'm gonna try to build the top up just a bit more. And I'll just take the cuttings and see uh, see about placement. But as you can see, this is a massive cutting. Um, some of the leaves are very large. I'm going to actually get rid of some of these large ones just so I could work with it a little bit easier. So I want my biggest tree, which is this one, to be in the front more than the others. Actually, this probably needs to come in, come in a little bit more in the front. A little bit worried about if the trees are going to be stable in the pot like that uh, it's really windy day right now and 
I don't really have anything to tie this down with. It's, there's no roots. Um, obviously, I didn't put any wires in the pot, so I'm gonna have to prop it up with rocks. I've tried to look for, you know, I googled Crystal Forest. Uh, it's a bunch of concept art that came up, and a lot of them had crystals beside the trees. And I think I'll take, I'll do that as well. Um, as, a, as my main tree, I actually want it to be more centered, but not right in the center. So we'll put it here, a bit front and more centered. We'll do something like that. And my secondary tree, I'm just gonna put some rocks just to hold this in place. when the wind blows. Uh, my secondary, which is not that big, here are my other ones, you know, you can see in size, much smaller. Mm, my secondary, I think, I want to put it close to the primary. I want to put it close, even though this one's trunk is a bit thicker, but I think that's okay. And I'll put it more towards the right and have it leaning right a little bit, and then I'll have the other cutting go more right and leaning more to the right. Um, but maybe not that, maybe that's too symmetrical. Um, so I'll, I'll put this here actually, around this area. Yeah. Let's take a look. Yeah, I think that's about the right position with the right tilt. Again, I'm just going to put some rocks to hold it in place. So that looks okay. You know, this leaf is kind of out there, but that's okay. Yeah, I should have probably taken care of this before. So I'll clean up these roots and, uh, you know, not the best roots in the world. It, it's really long. And I'm not afraid to cut this back because I know these guys take from cutting quite easily, which means I, I could do root work and it's not really going to affect the tree that much. I'm just going to trim off some of these massive roots that are circling. So leaving it with just a little bit of root and uh, it should be fine. I mean, these guys, you know, they root from cuttings. A little bit of root reduction is not gonna hurt it, I don't think. This guy has even worse roots, so I'm gonna take it back. Especially this thing, I don't know what this is, but that's gotta go. long one here a couple long ones which I'm going to trim back all the way
big rubel over here. Uh, not sure if you can see it, but I'm gonna take this off. It's not really going in any good directions, and it's in the way. So that guy's gone. So now I'm left with this little thing. Which I think is fine. So these, I'm planning on maybe one on this side that's going to go a bit more deep and then the same as that side. This one being a bit taller I think, well not really the same size, but I'll plant this a bit maybe higher so that it seems taller and I'll put this one here. And then maybe this one I'll put it in the back. Or maybe I should put this one here and put that one in the back. I'll probably end up putting one of these in the back because they have this uh, branch thing. I don't want to put on both on one each side. But I, I think it would seem too symmetrical. Um, So I'll try with this on this side first. I'll try to plant this a bit deeper. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's kind of on an angle. Uh, maybe just uh, it's a little too close to that tree. So I'm gonna move it a bit to this side. So it doesn't look like, look like all the trees are, you know, in the same uh, spacing with the same spacing. So this, I'm going to put it in the back, probably in this area. It's quite busy as you can see, there's a lot of uh, foliage, a lot of big leaves going around. Maybe over here. Hmm. Um, let's try to put this in first. I'll put this in the near the back here. Kind of behind the big tree. Have a look. Yeah, I think that's okay. This will grow, you know, they'll grow higher so that it doesn't seem like something coming out of the ground. But for now, I think that's fine. And then I got my last tree here. This should be straighter. It's probably just the wind's blowing over a bit. Yeah. So this guy, I think, I'm just thinking, because these guys have such big canopies, maybe I should uh, move the couple trees, the, the middle trees forward, and I'll put this near the back. I think I'll do that. I think these kind of adjustments are unavoidable. 
uh, when creating a forest. I kind of had a drawing of what I wanted, but you know, once it comes to the real life, it's a bit different. So yeah, I think I like that much better. I'm going to move this guy up a little bit as well, maybe a little bit closer to the main tree. Around that area. That's good, I think. The small tree can move out a bit. Now, I'm not an artist of any kind. I'm just uh, trying to see what looks good, in my opinion. Uh, it might not look good. Uh, it might not look good for other people when they see this. The only thing I can do is try to make it look good for myself and hopefully, you know, people, other people will like it as well. So this guy, where would I put this? Maybe in the back over here. I think I want to move this up a bit. And once that goes up, I put this in the back. Actually, I'm going to take this out for now. I'll put this one in the front because the trunk is thicker. bit further hmm. it's, I mean the leaves are going over the pot but I, I don't think I can avoid that it's just the uh, the canopy is way too large. So So I'll go with that for now and I'll place this. I kind of want to put on this side and then have this single tree here. Maybe I could add to it later on. Uh, you know the single tree there it's it's just it's just one like i kind of feel like it need at least one more but i at the same time i feel like i could i need to fill the back with the trunk so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna put this in the back here uh maybe like that and then we'll have a look Yeah. Well, I need to move that tree that I just placed a little bit more to the left. I think it makes these three, one, two, three, looks too evenly spaced. So we'll shift that in. And then we'll have another look. Yeah, I think that's, that looks much better. Again, this one should be more straight. And right now, it's, it's just the... Uh, yeah. 
maybe this one a little bit more straight as well because that one's really leaning i don't want them to both lean that much that looks good to me so the next step is to add the minerals and crystals uh, I'm gonna to try to get these guys per tree and I'll put the bigger rocks in first. I have a lot of these uh, tiny ones where I can kind of jam them into the boss that I'll be, I'll be putting in, especially things like these. So they'll have a, like a line of crystal at the top, which would be perfect. Um, okay, so I'll try to put the crystals in the background, you know. So that's not a focal point of the forest. I don't want it to overdo the trees. Uh, oh, there it goes. Can I drag it out? Let me have a look here. Yeah, okay. Just clean this up a little more. So, okay. What do I need to do here? Maybe I shouldn't use the bigger rocks because they just have way too much crystal face. Something like that would do, I think. And I'll start with this guy here. And now we'll have this crystal set out just a little bit higher. So once the moss goes up, the moss will kind of, it might cover some of the crystals and part of the rock, and that's okay, I think. Something like that would do. It also uh, serves the purpose of holding the tree in place. That's just the curve of the trunk. I'll make a curve this way. Just a little bit of lean, tiny bit. And so I try to put the crystals on the side so that it's not facing you. Um, that way you're not just drawn straight to it, hopefully. And the whitest, the, the more clear crystals, obviously, is, is less noticeable. Uh, so I think that's fine for that tree for now. I gotta work on the main tree, which... How do I want to place these rocks? So maybe this one is, is in a decent position, I just need to adjust the depth. bit deeper I think that's good again I get rid of some of these foliage just so I can work with this and I think the main tree deserves a bit of purple whoa yeah, that just happened. I have to put this back in. Again, the roots might get damaged when I do this, obviously, but as I said before, I'm not too worried about the roots on these guys. I'll have to kind of look at that later on. But let's get these guys set. Um, I don't want the rock to cover the, the tree in the back, obviously. So we're gonna have to see how this works. I'm gonna get rid of this guy here. Huh. 
Hmm. Maybe I'll put it in the front. I kind of don't have a perfect piece for this. That's way too strong. trying to find a, a perfect piece for the front. I guess this, I guess this tiny one would do. Uh, I can have the purple facing out as it is makes it look like it's growing out of the tree. This one, I don't know, with the moss in, it might be too small. So, huh. I guess we'll just put it around the surface. That. Um, I do want something to hold the back of it. Something like that would do, I think. Okay. Maybe something in front of this. I'm liking how it looks. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is okay. <sighs> By the way, this is going to be uh, in the shade. Uh, this this plant is a house plant. It doesn't doesn't need that much sun at all. As a matter of fact, the, what I have is indoors. They're just pretty much in the shade all the time. Not even in <laughs> indirect sunlight. Uh, okay, so I think that these I'm gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna work on the one over here And I'll I think I'll put this big one back here So that it doesn't draw too much attention and It kind of ought to give the uh, right side a little bit more detail I guess And I think once these guys grow out to be bigger uh, or taller, I should say. Um, the uh, crystals might get, you might see it clearer, I'm not sure. Go a little bit deeper here so that it's facing down. This guy. I have moss here, so I think that's that's okay. <laughs> 